prisoner of war. By the way, just an FYI, none of these actually appear. I think this guy is supposed to be the lead, but he doesn't really look like him. I guess they didn't want to give away that the graphics aren't great. Anyway, Captain Lou's stone is shot down uh, over Germany. And he is a pilot. He is military, so he doesn't go to a concentration camp. He goes to a prisoner of war camp, hence the title. And a friend of his is also present, but not right away. The... Okay, a little bit more about the plot. It's... There, there is a bit of a continuous story to this. It's not just a couple of different scenarios that aren't related to each other. There is no overall storyline. And the ending is somewhat satisfying in that regard. Basically, the game is Hitman with no guns. Yes. You spend the entire game sneaking and, you know, sneaking into different places and you have to find equipment that you'll need and, you know, it's about breaking out of these prisoner of war camps. It's kind of like, you know, Prison Break the video game. And it ain't half bad as far as that goes. It's fun to break out of these prisons, you know. Basically, this isn't a spoiler because it it's almost too obvious. Basically, every single time you break out of a prison, you get recaptured and sent to another prison. And then you have to break out of that one. Somehow this doesn't give the entire game a sense of futility. It's really surprisingly addictive, because it's, you know, it's it's a bit of a diamond in the rough, well, maybe not a diamond, maybe, it's it's got some rough edges to it. It is not a fully polished product, and I'll get into that. But basically, you know, you're sneaking around, you can hide under houses, you can dress up if you find a uniform, you know, and there are different ranks of it, you know, think like Commandos, those games. And, yeah, you have to do, fulfill various objectives, and the very last of the objectives will get you out of the prison that you're in currently. And, you can save pretty much any time, but doing so means sleeping. It means passing some hours. The entire game has this clock, and you have to be, you know, you have to appear for morning roll call and evening roll call. If you don't, they will send soldiers to find you. With that said, you can't actually make it, you'll just have to wait it out somewhere hidden. And they'll eventually forget about you. But, you know, there is a game clock, and there are also some meals, and it varies a bit from prison to prison. You can always tell, you can always look it up in the menu. You know, just pause, go to the descriptions of the different you know, activities during the day, and you can tell where am I allowed to be, where can they find me. You know, for example, lunchtime in one barrack, in, in one of the prisons, you might be allowed, you know, also outside of the mess hall. You know, in some, you might not be. You know, there are different, you know, things. But some of these things are really best done at certain times, so if you get you know, if you want to do a mission and then you want to save right before it, you might have to wait another day and you will be graded on how many days it takes you to escape. 
the characters are very straightforward. It's like if Hollywood made a video game, basically. Now, our lead is the handsome young American, and, you know, he's got some attitude, but he's a good guy, and, you know, there, there really isn't anything to that. In the game, you can collect contraband, which you can sell, you know, you can use that to buy other things. And you can also earn by playing, you know, rolling dice or shooting down, excuse me, little cans, empty cans. In the game, you can throw rocks, but you don't have an unlimited supply, so you have to resupply, restock at piles of rocks, but these piles never run out. You can use the rocks to distract, do not throw directly at an enemy soldier, he will turn around and want to shoot you. He may not shoot you if you stand still, but, you know, you'll end up in... I don't remember exactly what they call it, but, you know, isolation cell. The cooler, I think they call it. If you get shot, you will survive. You will, you know, it's like the 80s song. You'll never die. You'll always just wake up in you know, the hospital and a nurse will be standing over you telling you you have to be careful even though you don't. This will also count against your overall grade. You can, you know, you can just ignore that entirely, though there are some pretty cool, you know, extras that you can unlock basically cheats some of them and I don't know maybe they thought that their game was getting too difficult I would say it's fun to beat the entire game without any cheat but anyway getting shot or getting thrown in the cooler will cost you whatever you're carrying you can also stock items in this chest in your own barracks and that might be about it for the gameplay and such. The graphics are not that great. I mean, even for when it came out, which was 2000 something. 2002. This cannot compete with, like, the Hitman 2. You know, games that came out around that time had, have this beat to a pulp in that regard. There are some things that are kind of awkward, like, you know, sometimes hiding under a building and various things. Running is really strange. It doesn't work quite as well as it should. You can try to dodge some bullets, not quite Neo Matrix style, but you can run around and hope you don't get shot, and this will sometimes work. You know, you don't have to always play by the rules. And of course, the fact that you're told you don't, you're not allowed in an area doesn't mean you shouldn't go there. It just means you shouldn't let yourself be noticed, you know. Better to ask forgiveness and all. But, yeah, in spite of these things that really do with some improvements, some more testing maybe. This is a surprisingly addictive game. I've played it a couple of times now, and each time, I mean, no matter how many times you fail, you just keep thinking, I know I can do this, just one more attempt, you know, and it is quite gratifying to escape, you know. One big thing, I mean, there are various bugs, this actually sometimes corrupts your save games, so you'll maybe want to save a couple of different files and remember what you did, because you may have to start that level over. And also be careful with only having one save file that has all the progress that you made as far as what levels you completed, because if that one, if you only have one and it gets corrupted, 
it will actually, you know, you will have to start all over again. So that kind of sucks. But still, if you like this kind of thing, definitely give this one a shot. It is a lot of fun. Gameplay-wise, it's really pretty good. I'd love to see more games like this. I mean, I've only seen a little gameplay footage of the Prison Break game, but... It's a licensed video game, and it doesn't really look like it gets that much... I don't know, I, from what I've seen, I haven't seen any, you know... J just, you know, tasks, or press the button so and so fast, so and so many times, you know, junk like that. No real, you know, I mean, from a Prison Break game, I would guess that you'd have to actually, you know, do something to escape other than just going from point A to point B, or, you know, maybe it'd be time, you know, something more than that. Anyway, The overall experience is just fun if you like the whole escaping from, you know, a jail kind of thing. And frankly, the best I've really tried, but I don't know of a lot of games like this anyway. So, that was my spoiler for review of Prisoner of War. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.